When I first caught sight of doubt, I was just a broken kid, staying alive out of spite. He cut the throats of three men without making a sound, leaving only blood and death in his wake. I don't know what I was hoping for when I followed him that night, but he shared his strange magic with me. And more than that, his skill, his time, his trust, and sometimes his secrets. Now he's not the man he was. Here in his final days, he's got wounds that won't ever heal and regrets as sharp as mine. I know how much that carves you up inside, but I found him, and he wants me to help him make up for a lifetime of sins by killing a god. The Abbey teaches us that the outsider preys on weakness, that the void is the source of doubt, heresy, and suffering. That the outsider is to blame for all our ills. Who knows? Maybe they're right. The same dream. My arm hacked away. My eye hollow and burning. It still aches. Let's hope it's not some kind of omen. Let me tell you something about the void, Billy Lark. It touches the minds of the dreaming and the dying alike. And sometimes, dreams can only tell you what you wanted to forget. I know who you are. Why are you here? What do you want from me? People usually want something from me. What in the void? You don't want my mark, do you, Billy? So I will return something you lost. What? Wait, what are you? Ah! The world was wounded around you. And you carry the scars. You will never be the same. I wonder if you like that. What did he do to me? Of course he shows up now. Shit! Shit! He took my arm! And my face! Is it because of the dreams? Or doubt?